whenever we speak of quantum mechanics there is this underlying feeling that we are talking about a world which is somewhere out there but not necessarily this world this real world that we live in but the fact of the matter is quantum mechanics is everywhere in this video i want to discuss three important quantum phenomena that happen on a daily basis that makes life as it is possible and without it the world that we know would be impossible and let's start this discussion with our very own the sun the sun is the source of energy on earth in the core of the sun energy is produced by nuclear fusion primarily via the proton proton chain reaction in which hydrogen nuclei fuse together to form helium but hydrogen nuclei or protons repel one another and the amount of energy that is required by protons to overcome this coulombic repulsion so that they come sufficiently close together for nuclear forces to bind them is very very high classically thermal energies are not sufficient for nuclear fusion to take place the solution to this is offered by quantum mechanics in quantum mechanics there is an interesting phenomena called quantum tunneling in which particles even though they don't have sufficient energy can overcome barriers by tunneling through them this is because in quantum mechanics particles behave like waves the quantum wave of a proton can tunnel through this coulombic repulsive barrier so that two protons come sufficiently close enough for nuclear forces to bind them and as a result cause nuclear fusion this process enables nuclear fusion to take place at much lower temperatures compared to what would be classically required thus powering the sun for a longer duration of time the distribution of the thermal energies of protons at the core of the sun and the theoretical quantum tunneling probability produces a window of nuclear fusion also known as the gamma peak and it is this window of nuclear fusion that arises due to the temperature of the sun plus the possibility of quantum tunneling that leads to the creation of a photon at the core of the sun so without quantum tunneling the sun would not shine and life on earth would not be possible which brings me to the second phenomena you see a light photon is created at the core of the sun due to nuclear fusion which happens due to quantum tunneling that photon travels astronomical distances to come to earth but at the earth it must be absorbed and converted to energy this is where plants play a very important role the light photon produced at the core of the sun gets converted to usable energy through a process called photosynthesis in which plants convert the solar energy to chemical energy this happens via a very complex biochemical process which is happening inside the leaves of all the plants and that is where quantum mechanics plays a very significant role you see essentially what happens is that the light photon energy is absorbed and that energy is utilized for various biochemical reactions which store that energy in the production of various hydrocarbons this initial step in which a photon is absorbed and the energy is transferred to a reaction center where further reactions can take place exhibits what is called quantum coherence or quantum superposition you see whenever a photon is absorbed by a chlorophyll pigment an exciton which is an electron hole pair is generated this electron hole pair needs to be transferred to a certain location inside the chloroplast known as a reaction center where the light energy is further used for other biochemical processes and it is this transfer of energy that involves a very fundamental quantum mechanical phenomena known as quantum coherence instead of going from pigment to pigment one after another like a random walk this excite and explores multiple possibilities or multiple pathways this process is similar to the double slit interference experiment you must be familiar with the fact that when we bombard double slits with electrons we know that in quantum mechanics it is possible for the electron to pass through both the slits at the same time and as a result cause interference so whether you have a double slit or whether you have multiple slits in the quantum world the electron can travel through all the slits at the same time 
This is the idea of quantum superposition. An electron can explore all possible paths in a given system. The same thing happens when an exciton is exploring all possible paths to go from where the light was absorbed to the reaction center. This exciton behaves like a quantum wave, exploring multiple paths at once, which enables it to find the most efficient route to the reaction center very quickly and with minimal energy loss. This process is only possible because of the wave-like nature of microscopic particles. And this is what gives photosynthesis a remarkably high energy transfer efficiency of up to 99%. So you see how a bizarre phenomena like quantum superposition is critical in the energy absorption process during photosynthesis inside the leaves in all plants. Now this is a new and emerging field which is known as biophysics which tries to study how biological phenomena are affected by quantum mechanical principles. Which leads me to another very important phenomena without which life would not be possible. Evolution. Quantum mechanics plays a role in the spontaneous mutations of DNA which is one of the driving forces of biological evolution. You see the double helix of DNA carries genetic information that is required for the growth, functioning and reproduction of living organisms. But the double helix is held together by base pairs or pairs of nitrogenous bases. In short, we call them A, T, G, C. These base pairs have a unique combination, A pairs with T and G pairs with C. During cell division, these two strands of the double helix of DNA unzip, each strand serving as a template for building a new complementary strand. This process ensures that the genetic information is faithfully copied to the next generation of cells. Now while this DNA replication is very accurate, quantum mechanics introduces a twist. You see, I talked about the base pairs A, T, C and G, which are essentially complex chemical molecules. They are held together by hydrogen bonds, which are quite stable. But quantum tunneling makes it possible for a proton in that hydrogen bond to jump from one side of the bond to the other. If this kind of a quantum tunneling happens, the base transforms into a slightly different composition which behaves differently. You see, I just told you that the normal pairing of the bases happen in a very specific manner. A pairs with T and G pairs with C. But the moment quantum tunneling happens, which is also known as proton tunneling, the chemical composition slightly changes, which affects the pairing of these bases. And the moment the pairing gets affected, this introduces errors in the DNA replication process during cell division. These errors are irreversible and they permanently change the genetic code, thereby causing mutation. And mutation is what leads to evolution because they provide new material for natural selection to take place. Again, this is a very new field, biological physics, and the extent to which quantum tunneling actually results in long-term evolution are still a subject of study. But it is highly interesting to note that whether it is the production of a photon inside the core of the sun, whether it is a storage of energy of that particular photon, inside the leaves of a plant or whether it is one of the reasons that causes mutation and thus drive evolution on earth, quantum mechanics is everywhere. We may not be able to see it with our own eyes in the classical world, but our very existence, the energy that sustains life, the evolution that has caused this much diversity of life on earth is due to quantum mechanics. I am Divya Jyoti Das. This is For the Love of Physics. I have tried to make a slightly different educational video on an interesting topic that I myself find interesting. If you like this video, please tell me if you want me to make more such videos in the future. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.